Hey everyone, uh, this is Tico and you're watching Nardold here's channel and uh, he's gonna show you some nice tricks you can use in your game so uh, use them wisely and take care. Bye bye. Before we get further into the video, I want to introduce my sponsor Leadify, an AI system that analyzes your matches from face it, eSpurl and matchmaking. Leadify lets you know what you're doing good in and what needs to be improved. They have training recommendations to help you raise your game to the next level. My favorite thing about Leadify is this positional map, which shows you the areas that you're performing well and poorly in. Another great feature is the utility map that shows you your most common flashes and smokes. Leadify will analyze how effective they are. Lastly, I love the weapon recoil analysis, which shows you your spray patterns versus how they should be sprayed. Leadify is free to use, so if you want to improve your game, check out the link below in the description and comment section. Nard out here with a new CSGO Pro Tricks video. The first trick is on train from Extra Salt. Marquis is gonna molly above pop, and Sonic goes up the ladder with the Max 7 to peak top without taking damage. I've seen Bubsy show this trick off in an Astralis tutorial video. Sonic isn't gonna spot anyone, and he hears Keto shooting towards bottom stairs. After the molly ends, he goes up the ladder to flank and kill him. Marquis will first clear top ladder before mollying, then he's gonna crouch in this position as shown, aims at this part of the ladder, then left click throw. Here is Sonic's POV. After the molly is thrown, he's gonna go up the ladder. As you can see, he doesn't take any damage. However, if he does go high enough, then he will take damage. The next trick comes from G2 and Jax, who mollies the middle of brown halls as he is making his way down tunnels to make it appear that G2 are mollying upper and that they're defaulting, but instead they will be rushing ramp. Gambit has a two-player ramp set up in this round, so we don't get to see it to full potential, but it's a great idea from G2 to use the molly as a sound bait. Sanji with the nice pop molly that has a lot of spread, he's going to position himself with the edge of this bar, aims top right of this square and then left click throw. Note the windows need to be intact. I won't be covering any more train tricks after this video due to Valve replacing the map with Ancient, so let me know in the comment section what you think about the switch and leave an F in the comment to pay respect for train. Shiro from Long Platform is going to molly back bomb, he aligns himself with this mark on the wall, aims to the left of this gray mark, then he'll run one step forward and jump throw. The molly burns the G2 player holding and pushes him back. James gonna molly goose from short by getting inside this box corner, aiming in between these two white marks, then without moving his mouse, he will move left until he's at this point, then left click throw. This molly will spread and cover the whole goose area. Sonic has a nade set from long doors where he smokes left cross and mollies short. For the smoke he gets inside this corner, aims to the right of this line, walks 3 steps forward and then jump throw. After throwing the smoke, he mollies short by getting behind the door, aims here below the light, then runs forward until he hits the electrical lines and jump throw. Electronic throws a door molly that won't spread through the door and allows his teammates to walk out without taking damage. Gamet might think that Navi might be running a default. Navi uses molly to sneak out mid to do a B split. Electronic is going to stand behind Xbox to the right, aims here on the wall, then left click throw. Naphne in CT spawn sees a mid to B smoke come in and he blocks it from landing in its correct position, which leaves a gap to the right. However, Navi in this round is going to choose to go A. Kizrato with the Ivy Flash staying behind sandbags, aims here on the yellow wall, runs one step forward and jump through. This flash blinds Zaiwu. Art's going to come through the top Ivy smoke to kill Zaiwu. This flash does make a bounce noise, so you'll see Yuri shooting prior to the flash being bounced to blast the noise. Virya with a cheeky boost on the edge of the crane to set up Yuri in an off angle to peak ramp. Apex walks up and doesn't check this angle, netting a free kill for Yuri, and he gets run boosted back to short. Apex was focused on clearing sandbags. Virus Pro with a triple boost on T side in Ivy to have their safe rifle to peak double, however Nico flicks onto Jame and kills him. It's not a new boost but I wanted to show it because it's unique. Big Clan at the start of the round boosts Searson with an op on this mid container on B to peak towards middle to try to get an opening pick. They have 3 players towards B with Keto close stairs, so Searson doesn't get shot while he is boosted. Unfortunately for him, he misses a shot to Vinny, who does not check this angle coming out of middle. This too isn't a new boost, but I wanted to show it because it can be a great way to get an opening pick. Astralis are on eco and matches with the yellow flash standing next to this crate, aims at the bottom half of this black piece, then jump throw. Matches throws his flash when his teammates hear the molly fading. It will only flash players mid yellow and not near the bottom. The flash blinds blame F and Glaive comes through the top ivy smoke and kills him. Shiro wall bangs no scope through the smoke to kill Jack's planting default. I know you can shoot through this container with an off, but did not know a scout works as well. Perfecto with a nade from top coffins to land behind half wall. He stands on coffins, aims here at this mark on the wall, 
takes one step forward and jump throw. This snake does decent damage onto VP. In a later match against Heroic, Perfecto is going to throw the same nade and he does a lot of damage onto the Heroic player stacked up behind half wall. Bit has a nice B flash where he stands behind coffin wall, aims at this piece on the roof, then left and right click the flash. Unfortunately, he misses his timing, but you see the flash's trajectory. It will land front mid sight. Heroic has Shush throw the deep CT mid smoke that G2 has been throwing. Kading with the mid spawn, crosses the boy with the cover of the smoke, and runs through Astralis' molly to cross into T apartments without being spotted. He will make his way to T stairs, where he is behind Magis and he holds his trigger until he spots another player so he can try to get 2 kills. Magis makes his way banana and Kadian follows. He spots another 2 players and Glaive turns around and that's when Kadian has to shoot and unfortunately only gets 1 kill due to having only a deagle. Here's the priest POV from the previous clip. He mollies window however he's unable to spot Kadian crossing. Nor do I think he hears him burning. This time around, we're gonna see the trigger discipline pay off for Kadian. Heroic are an eco, and early round they push down middle with Kadian being the first player. He spots bit outside apartments, but doesn't shoot him, and keeps walking down mid, where he gets a banana and spots three Navi players. However, he holds his fire until his teammates are grouped up behind him to secure the kills. Great trigger discipline by Kadian, which Heroic will go on to win the round. Omnic with a great play by mauling behind the door to use it as a sound bait as he peeks down halls with an op and takes no damage. Javi peeks thinking the end of halls is mollied off but instead walks into Omnic's op. To throw this molly, stand next to the door, aim at the edge of the pot, then left click throw. After mollying, scope before you go into apartments to not give up the sound cue of the scope. Omnic holds the left side apartments and gets an easy kill into Hobbit and falls back. Hunter has a nade set where he smokes library, mollies moto, and flashes long to allow his teammates to get into arch to split B. I took off the UI to make it easier to see the nades that Hunter throws. To throw the library smoke, he gets alongside the right mid wall, pulls a pin on the smoke, and uses his left thumb and covers this piece of wood, then left click throw. As for the molly, he uses his left thumb again and places it to the right of this gray mark, then runs forward until he hits a roof with his crosshair and jump throw. After the molly, he's going to throw the long flash, which he gets back to mid wall, aims to the bottom right of this wood, then left click throw. The molly deals with the off angle that a lot of CTs like to hold to watch the arch cross. Mouse boats are on eco with a safe rifle from the round prior, playing inside connector. Rops is going to blow up door, and he will jump spot on the railing to see if he spots anyone, then would flash for Dexter to peek down connector. Rops felt pressure from monster, so he decides to flash and Dexter peeks off of it and kills Perfecto. Elsewise, Dexter would call for a flash when he felt presence. After mollying stairs, Rops will smoke monster by getting in front of the trash can, aims here, then jump throw. This allows Mouse Sports to have an extra molly on one of their A players as Rops rotates back to B. Mir smokes heaven from coming out short pipe into water, standing inside this corner, aims here at this line, then jump throw. The smoke doesn't leave any gaps. Victor has a retake smoke for bathrooms. He crouches behind the right trash can, aims below and to the left of these dark blue sky, then left click throw while crouch. White clouds do pass in game, however you'll have to wait it out as clouds will pass over a couple of seconds opening up the blue sky marks, which are there permanently. On the A bomb side of overpass, I was not aware that you could peek to the right of truck and spot the player planting default. Mir does so and he kills Bubble. If you have a lot of money like the last round or the last round of overtime, then you can purchase an AWP alongside a rifle. After mollying short, Cold goes back to pick up the AWP he bought earlier, and he uses it to peek monster and kills Ross peeking, then switches back to his AK. Next, I'm going to show you two boosts that aren't new but can be effective. The first one is that mid stairs to peek divider. Bathroom is smoked. JT boosts OC who holds divider and kills Zaiwu who did not see it coming. Next, Forzy will triple boost long A after smoking it to give them cover to boost. Zorzi with the AWP gets on top to peak jump up and kills Alien. This boost used to be used a lot by Gambit and NIP. Glaive will throw a one way smoke in Secret. At their start, he crosses into Secret, stands next to this orange bin, aims below this railing, then left click throw. 
He throws this when he feels presence outside, and that's the smoke's extra salt throw. He'll get in the railing afterwards to look over the smoke. However, Glaive won't spot anyone. Here's a view to the side of Red towards Secret, and as you can see, you can't spot Glaive. Jcast is gonna molly heaven from Marshmallow, crouching and positioning himself like Shum. Then he'll stand and aims at this line on the window and jump throw. Make sure the windows are broken beforehand. Matches Molly's behind the hut door and it won't burn SDY as he pushes hut. He stands next to the wall, aims at this pipe, then left click throw. SDY needs hut to match the noise that he jumps down and is pushing hut, and he kills Dreamer without taking any Molly damage. Dreamer initially holding the hut push hears a Molly nade and thinks nothing of it and gets pushed by SDY hut. Marky is going to nade Marshmallow by breaking windows, aims at the light like show, then left click throw. The nade takes half of Apex's life. It would be cool to see the mini player also throw a nade Marshmallow. Yuri has a set flash for Caseraptor to swing hut to peek close. Yuri will position himself with the e-box, then aims at the light here, and left click throw. Kijin eats the flash and Caseraptor swings and kills him. Yuri's gonna wallbang kill Kyojin Tetris through the hut. It looks like if you spray to the left of the outlet, you can clear CT's holding Tetris. I would love to see this spot spam more, especially on retakes. Vinny underhands a smoke offside hut that extinguishes Vitaly's hut molly. Fury uses smoke to fake an upper rush, alongside door nades, and then they hit ramp after. Mid round, Searson's gonna smoke cat rail in apartments by staying in this corner, aims to the left of the sleeve, then left click throw. The smoke blocks off connector and allows Zentaurus to lurk up catwalk to short, as Big do a 3-1 execute hit on B. Typically we see the mid run boost for an operative pick mid. G2 uses the run boost to get a player to behind mid boxes after flashing. It's a way to try to avoid getting shot crossing from any opper who jumped fast short and is holding for the cross. Here's another round where G2 will run boost jacks at back mid boxes and Mir is holding from short with a rifle however he doesn't react. Nico smokes jungle and flashes for his teammates to go out connector. For the jungle smoke, he is next to this mid wall, aims above the doorway then jump throw. Then he backs up to run and jump throw a flash. If you want to see the full strat, check out my discord, link is in the description box. Next I'm showing another way to smoke jungle, this time from spawn, next to this back wall, aims to the right of this wood, then jump throw. SDY smokes front B side towards short, he stands next to this window frame, aims below this rooftop, then left click throw. This smoke blocks the view from a bench and allows his teammates to push up from short without having to worry about that angle. Except in this clip, Dexter peeks before the smoke and kills Jax. Next is going to drop the smoke to the left of Amak who is holding a close ramp with an op. The purpose of this smoke is to use it as a sound cue for any T's holding outside ramp to think it's smoked off so they can peek ramp but that's not the case with Amanek having a gap to the right and still holding. Unfortunately, Inter doesn't fully peek ramp and Amanek re-aggresses and gets one kill before being traded out. From Inter's POV, he hears the ramp smoke and he peeks and clears vase but doesn't overextend and he waits for Axile. That's some insane game sense from Inter's. In one of my previous trick videos, I showed JKS and Kabuxi using the triple boost with a safe rifle but nothing happened that round. Here Team Spear are on Eco and are using this boost It gets a kill into Victor. It's an off angle you aren't clearing or pre-aiming when coming out of ramp that catches you by surprise. Twist smokes top connector from inside apartments by crouching and positioning himself with this line, then stands up, aims near the bottom right of this window, and then jump throw. Boomage smokes top connector by aligning himself up with this wood, then aims at this bar, and he will walk forward until he passes a little bit of the end of the wood and left click throw. Navi uses this smoke to try to get jungle control on a pistol round. He flashes afterwards over the ramp which I don't show and they send 4 players out ramp with 1 palace. Junior has a smoke for bottom con at the start, inside window he aims above this mark as he is running then left click throw. He uses his smoke to put out the T's connector molly in advance to allow him to focus on getting the pick from connector instead of having to worry about pulling out the smoke. Downside is that if there isn't a molly thrown you're wasting a smoke like in this round. This is a smoke Kenny S likes to throw. 
Art with a simple flash for Keiserato to clear kitchen by staying in front and to the right of the barrel, aims above the doorframe below the light, then runs one step forward and left click throw. Rush gets blind and Keiserato gets an easy kill. In another round Art throws the same flash for Keiserato to clear kitchen, however he won't spot anyone and Art will leave Keiserato in a hold murder hole, while his team focuses on A. Art has a fast rotate towards A as well, which will land fear the map winning round. Valde inside apartments has a kitchen one way smoke to peek towards T side apartments. Unfortunately, it doesn't get any kills from this one way. OG deep smoke apartment from CT spawned the start around, which gives Valde cover to throw this smoke. I turn X ray back on, and as you can see, Valde is towards the top left inside kitchen. After clearing kitchen, Valde is on this back wall, aims at this wood on the ground, and then he right clicks the smoke. Then he hops onto the shelf and moves to the right. And as the deep smoke fades, he can see towards the top right of the smoke. He spots Kerrigan, however his shots don't connect, and he falls back as the smoke fades. Kerrigan smokes deep apartments by getting along the market window, crouches, uses the top left tip of the smoke and aims below this mark, stands up, and then left click throw. Bayclan's gonna run boost Tizzy into the kitchen to avoid being spotted if there was an opera holding. Once the side kitchen, Tizian jumps spots and gets legged, then he peeks and kills Tessa's fallen back. Kaden does spot the feet of Tizian and he knows he's in the kitchen. He legs him as he jumps spots again, then jumps out the window, however Tessa's dies fallen back. Complexity are an eco and they build a juggernaut to deal with Furious aggression, however Furious is going to hold back this round. That's the end of the video, if you enjoyed it please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Till next time, not out here, peace.